Let's welcome House Intelligence Committee ranking member Devin Nunes. Uh, Congressman, great to see you as always. Is the president right this indictment is just the beginning? Well, look, it should be, uh, Greg. Uh, you're one of the aficionados on this. You've wrote a best-selling book on it. Uh, of course, I ran the initial investigation that unearthed all this. Um, it would be hard for me to believe that more people didn't know about this. And if you if you read closely as to what Kleinsmith said, it was uh, it, after this indictment, uh, he said that he had turned over this information uh, to other people within DOJ and FBI. If that is the case, that means a whole bunch of other people knew about this Kleinsmith information. Of course, this was hidden uh, not just from the American people, but also from the United States Congress and you know, myself, who was doing and conducting this investigation. You know, we would have loved to have had this several years ago. Uh, this indictment uh, is a long time coming. It's a bad day uh, for the FBI, but I think it's good uh, for America ultimately to have an FBI and a DOJ that's on the process at the beginning stages of being cleaned up. I was amused uh, by Kleinsmith's lawyer's rationalization. He said, oh, you know, gosh, golly gee, this is just a a benign mistake on my client's part. But he was really trying to clarify information. No, Congressman, when you falsify a document, when you change the language that originally said uh, Carter Page is a CIA asset into he's not a CIA asset, what you're really doing is turning exculpatory information into inculpatory information. That's not benign, that's corrupt. Would you agree? Yeah, very much so. And I also want to remind uh, the viewers out there tonight that this was also uh, the French speaking FBI lawyer. You may remember from the text messages that we unearthed, this was the person who said, Viva la resistance. So, and that was in response to a question about whether or not he was going to leave the FBI after President Trump had been elected. So uh, he knowingly and willingly had a, a, a motive here. Uh, it was in his text messages. And ju look, just to scare the hell out of everybody, this guy also ended up on the Mueller team, uh, which the irony tonight that many of the people on that failed Mueller team that wasted $40 million of U.S. taxpayer money the irony is, is that they're out tweeting uh, in terms of that Klein Smith really didn't do anything wrong. I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, but the bottom line uh, here is, is that this person had an ax to grind uh, with the incoming president of the United States, later became the president. Uh, and it's just wrong, uh, French, French speaking or not. You know, the other thing I learned from reading uh, several pages of the indictment today is that Comey didn't even ask Klein Smith to find out from the CIA whether Carter Page was an asset or not until nine months after the first FISA warrant. And yet, Comey already knew that Page was an asset of the CIA. How do we know that? Carter Page, before the first FISA warrant application, sent Comey a direct letter that said, hey, I work for the CIA. I'm not a Russian spy. How do I know that? Because he gave me a copy of that letter. It's in both my books. And it's also a part of his congressional testimony, you'll recall. So isn't it true right. that James Comey concealed this information from the FISA court and perpetrated a fraud when he signed the FISA warrants? Yeah, I, I think very much so. But don't forget, Greg, and I know you know this too, but just to add insult to injury here, they also used Carter Page, the, they, the FBI and the Department of Justice, used his information as a source, uh, you know, back uh, in, I think, 2014. So they knew that, this, that, that Carter Page, you know, who right. graduated the Naval Academy, uh, they knew that this guy was, was, was no threat to, to America. And there was never any reason to put him under a surveillance warrant. The whole reason was to uh, spy on the Trump campaign, which we now know. And in fact, he had helped the Department of Justice prosecute Russians, for goodness sakes. That's Comey right. knew that, yeah. McCabe knew that, they all knew that at the FBI, they didn't care. Here's what Attorney General Barr told NBC News in a recent interview. Let's put it up on the screen, this is a quote. I think our nation was turned on its head for three years based on a completely bogus narrative that was largely fanned and hyped by a completely irresponsible press 
I think there were gross abuses and an inexplicable behavior that is intolerable in the FBI. Congressman, who else should Durham be looking at here? Well, look, you know, we, we've made 14 criminal referrals in our exhaustive three and a half year investigation. And so there are, there's plenty to look at here. That's why it's not just John Durham. There's, there's one U.S. attorney that's, that's, that's kind of got the lead on this, but there's also at least two other U.S. attorneys, including one out of Texas and one out of Missouri, who are also looking at different aspects of the Russia, the, the broader Russian hoax, including looking at the Mueller team, specifically at the Flynn prosecution, which is very problematic at best. You know, Congressman, so much of the collusion narrative was based on the dossier. And yet we now know that the FBI, the very month Trump was sworn in, January of 2017, debunked and discredited. And yet the next year, 2018, the FBI goes to the Senate Intel Committee and says, oh, gosh, the uh, dossier is absolutely uh, credible. Uh, Christopher Steele, the author, is reliable. The source information is verified. All of that was a lie by the FBI. Isn't lying to Congress a crime? Look, this is, this is why the current FBI is not clean, and they still have to give us answers, because we ask those same questions, House Republicans. We ask those very questions. And we are very frustrated that, you know, no one has come forward to say, hey, look, we got it wrong. Uh, if you remember when I put out the memo that first exposed a lot of this, uh, you know, it was the current FBI leadership, actually. It wasn't Comey. It was the current leadership uh, who made, let's just say, disparaging comments about how uh, I think th that we were going to wreck and cause problems within the FBI. I'm, I'm paraphrasing once again. But that's just wrong. And the, and the FBI leadership needs to come forward and say, look, you know, at least apologize, you know, and I don't, I'm not saying I need an apology, but I think the American people need an apology uh, because it looks like even the current leadership ran interference on the dirty cops' behalf who were really just look, working ultimately, Greg, don't forget this, oh, you always have to bring it back to this. This was a Clinton campaign Democratic National Committee dossier that right. dirtied up Carter Page and everybody else. And it was the dirty cops who they somehow convinced to open up an investigation into their political opponent and leaked that information illegally. Yeah. I mean, it was Hillary Clinton and Democrats that actually colluded uh, with a foreign nation for Russian disinformation. And yet Bob Mueller never looked into that. Congressman Devin Nunes, thanks very much. And My pleasure, be Rick. sure Thank to you. check out the congressman's upcoming book, The Countdown to Socialism. Devin Nunes.